Well, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bloodstained Wings, and today I thought we would start a new project. Uh, so for the past couple of years, I have been making calendars every year, and uh, this year I was struggling to think of what we should do for our calendar coming up for the next year, and then it hit me. I did all of those paintings in Huvember for last year of the uh, Hyrulean cookbook, and I thought, wouldn't it be really cool if we just did a real cookbook as illustrated paintings? So I present to you the first recipes in my cookbook. And now this looks a little blurry because my doll is in focus as opposed to the recipe page, but I assure you that at the end of the video, you will see a very good shot of the whole painting. Um, it is a recipe for chocolate burrs, otherwise known as haystacks. And I got this recipe from my boyfriend's mom, as I explained multiple times during the video. <laughs> but uh, if you guys would like to paint along, you can feel free to prep your painting with whatever recipe you would like. I'm going to try to paint 12 recipe pages. I don't know if I'm going to be painting them all on here or if I'm going to also be painting them on Twitch. Um, so please feel free to follow me on both platforms so that you get a good idea and if you can't do that that's too much work then feel free to join my patreon i will be posting these on my patreon as well um, with high-res uh, pictures of them so that you guys can really get an idea of what the calendar is going to look like at the end of the year all right i hope you guys are excited to see how my recipe pages are painted um, i don't know how many of these i will paint on youtube and how many of these i will paint on Twitch. Um, so please, uh, you know, follow me on both platforms so that you can get uh, a full visualization of this whole process. Now, if you want it to be a surprise and you don't want to watch this, please feel free to not. That's okay too. These are going to be the pages in my calendar coming up next year. And these are um, going to be real recipes. You could really, really follow this recipe to make the actual thing. Previously, I did uh, a recipe book um, that still has the Kickstarter going. I think by the, by the time this video comes out, I think it'll still be going, although not, not very much time is left. So if you wanted to get in on that Kickstarter, um, please do, because uh, there's not a lot of time left. <laughs> like at all. Uh, there's probably only like 10 or so days left. There we go. That's better. That other brush was too fine. I needed something more broad. All right, we're gonna try to get some. This is burnt umber that I'm using. Um, and we're gonna go for like a stained kind of look um, much like the other recipe page books if you guys want it let's just take a quick second show you guys what I'm talking about so I'm going for like a tea stained kind of look on the corners kind of like this this is one of my recipe pages here's another one from breath of the wild recipes as you can tell from the fruit pie um, so this is the kind of inspiration for this here, but these are like real world items with real world proportions and everything all measured out. So it's a real, real recipe, um, not some mambo jumbo, throw two of them in a pot and have the music make it happen. <laughs> they don't just bounce in a pot and then magically you have a, uh, a, an article of food to eat. This is, uh, this is how you prepare and how you do make for real this recipe. Um, so if you guys want, while I am prepping the paper, I can read it out to you. Um, and by the way, we did cover this with goop in case anybody missed out on the, the goopage that happened. There was goop, uh, covered the whole thing. The goop that I am using as always is Neo Maglip, Gamblin's Neo Maglip. Um, it's, it's very goopy. It's not, it's not like liquidy, it's more goopy. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody at all ever when I say that it's goop, but 
I think that when you see it and you have it in your hands, you're like, ah, I see why she calls it goop. It's, it's, it's very goopy. <laughs> Um, but anyways, yeah, that's how you get a sponsorship right there. I don't have one, but you know, I feel like by calling your product goopy, that's, that's how you sell it right there. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, the recipe for this while I'm prepping this is that you combine the two cups of sugar, the, uh, six tablespoons of cocoa, which is powdered chocolate, um, and then a half a teaspoon of salt and you combine that in a pot that you then boil the water, the water, you boil the everything together so that it all like blends together and the sugar gets really like really melty and then you add the like margarine to that and it makes it like really really melty and syrupy and sweet and then you pour that into a bowl that is uh, filled with the vanilla, the oatmeal and the coconut and then you like mix all that up together and then you spoon it out onto some wax paper and you let it cool. It's a very, very simple recipe. It's not anything complicated, which is why it's in this book. Uh, this book is going to be very, very simple recipes um, so that I can draw them out. This is a lot of ingredients for me to have drawn out comparatively, um, but um, it is, uh, it is still a very nice recipe, so that's why I wanted to include it. So, the way that I do these recipe pages is that after I have the nice background, which you can see here, I then use actual paint thinner, okay, this is for real paint thinner. We're not using goop, we are using paint thinner. I use odorless paint thinner, um, that is, uh, supposedly environmentally friendly. Um, and that's how I will be painting this, hopefully so that it looks like it's covered in chocolate. Bless you, Snowy. My cat. He sneezed. <laughs> he adorably sneezed. There we go, and now I'm going to use a very thin paintbrush, and I'm going to use more of the paint thinner, and I'm going to come in with some light, and just lighten up some of it. Oh geez, that paintbrush is a little stiff. Let's wake it up a little bit. That's better. That's better. We don't want to scratch the paper. We want to paint it. <laughs> All right. And I'm just going to come in with a little bit of white and kind of blend it in with that to make like a, a whitey brown kind of color to first of all blend and second of all add little like tiny highlights to the whole thing so that it looks, you know, delicious, chocolatey. Chocolatey delicious. That being said, I don't actually like chocolate all that much. Um, I know, shock, ah, uh, is she even a woman? Um, yes, I'm still a woman. I just don't, I don't like chocolate all that much. Some, some of you are like, what? And uh, some of you are like, yeah, no, I agree with that statement. Are you a woman? Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's a question I've had before, just because I don't like chocolate, but I'm not, I'm not a big fan of chocolate. Not a big fan. Not saying that uh, you can't like chocolate, just saying uh, I don't much care for it, and that's okay. Just trying to like make it look a little lumpy. These things look uh, kind of lumpy, and so that's what I'm going for right now. A little bit of a lumpy, chocolatey mess. There we go. A little lumpy chocolatey mess. That's exactly what we're looking for. So now that we have that all sorted out, uh, we can start painting the other things. Um, so while I have the brown on this brush, 
Let's go ahead and paint the Ashapala. So there it is. Ashapala. And then um, uh, that's it. Oh no, the, the vanilla. Oh, don't forget the vanilla. Vanilla and chocolate are actually different shades of brown, but they're different like kinds of brown, but just, sh it's fine. <laughs> We're rolling with it. Uh, it's fine. All right, I'm gonna grab some more of the white mixed with the um, the thinner, and I'm gonna add a little bit of a highlight to the, oh, apparently I'm just gonna paint that, that's cool this section in white because that's milk milk and then this is salt there we go to see if we can get like a little highlight Beautiful. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Now let's grab some more white but on the bigger brush. And we're gonna do, we're gonna, I'm gonna mix yellow ochre and white, I think, to try to get a um, kind of paper bag kind of color. A creamy paper bag kind of color. There is still some brown on this brush and that's gonna help as well. Oh yeah, that definitely helps. A little bit of that paper bag kind of color. Pip bag. I'm gonna fill everything in except the border that I have there. Lovely. I don't know about you guys, but here, um, they we have like weird color associations. Um, and for some reason sugar is red. I don't know if that's true internationally. Or if it's just true like where I am but <laughs> maybe it's actually just because of red path sugar that I think that sugar is red I'm I'm not entirely sure on this this could be programming um, it very likely is programming but you know we're gonna roll with it and I'm gonna grab a little bit of cadmium red and I'm gonna just do that. So it just gives the implication of it being red along the edges like that. Clean that up. Okay. While I have the big brush out, I'm going to go into the yellow ochre. This is now just straight yellow ochre. And I'm going to do the margarine. Margarine. I think you can probably use butter instead of margarine here and it'll probably work, but I'm not an expert um, on this process. This is my, uh, my boyfriend's mother, it's her recipe. <laughs> not joking, it actually is. Uh, I, I sent her an email being like, can you email me this recipe please? And she was like, sure. <laughs> legitimately what happened. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit of the sap green. Sap green. Boop. That's gonna be for my oats. They're gonna have the same kind of little wee. There we go little indication of sap green and then I'm going to do the same thing but with blue and I'm going to use thylo blue because I'm crazy um make sure it's really watered down and watered down no thinned down this is oil paints not gouache don't use water um but I'm going to put the blue around the coconut Coconut. There we go. 
And I'm going to fill the rest of that in with white of the coconut. See, coconut is blue because it's tropical. <laughs> Not kidding. This is, how, this is how Canadian grocery stores are. They're like, coconut is blue. And you're like, isn't that coconut brown? And they're like, shh. And you're like, okay. You didn't think about that. And they're like, but, you know, tropical. So blue. <laughs> You're like, that's not that's not accurate at all. That doesn't that doesn't make sense. And they're like, no, shh, it's fine. Um, let's make the plate white. Let's do that. Let's uh, make the plate white using the big paintbrush. The big one. Look how big it is. Um, it's not that big. But we're doing a lot of fine detail stuff, so that's why I'm using a smaller brush. Now it still has a little bit of yellow ochre on it, and that's fine. Come in here and drag this paint around. Just makes it slightly whiter than the brown that was already there. Um, it doesn't make a huge difference but it makes me feel better. So uh, that's why I'm doing it. And a little bit of a there. Just to really emphasize those highlights. And then blend it out. Tanya! Yeah, all right, I think I'm going to do a little bit more highlighting on on our baked good here. Just to really give it that more dimensional kind of look. Yeah, that looks better. It looks more like it's got some things going on with it, which is good because it does. Um, just gonna just gonna give this a look. You know, I think we're gonna add a little shading to our uh, to our bags, at least the oats bag. The oats bag needs a little work. It doesn't look very uh, doesn't look very delicious looking. So let's try to add a little bit. And blend it out. There we go. And that back in here. So it looks a little more. There we go. It was a little bit much, so I had to tone it down a bit. That's okay. Come back, add a spot or two, and then blend that out a bit. There we go. It's those kind of like tiny details that really like make things, I don't know, pop. Um, and that's the kind of stuff that's gonna make it look more like it's a thing. It's a for real thing. There we go. There, that looks much better. Yeah. So that is my chocolate burrs recipe. And by mine, I mean, I painted it, but the actual recipe I got from my boyfriend's mother, uh, her name is Jan. Hi, Jan, if you're watching. <laughs> um, and uh, once again, if you guys would like to support my Kickstarter, feel free to do so. Uh, the link is in my link tree, um, so you can do that. Uh, this calendar will be out next year, so I'll be uh, taking pre-orders for it in September. I've been making calendars for a while now, so uh, that's, uh, that's how she goes. Uh, if you guys would like to stay tuned for that, please hit 
subscribe, um, uh, like and comment so that I know that that is a thing that you want and I will make sure to have a video um, come out when uh, the calendars come out so that you guys can know and you guys can see and everything will be great. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys stopping by today. I hope you have a lovely day today. And uh, thank you so much to my Patreon subscribers for supporting the channel and making sure I can continue to do this. And please remember that you are loved and you deserve to be loved. And I'll see you next week. Mwah!